Today, I wanted to take a look at how generative AI could influence medical work in the future. So I built the scripts that take some of your personal information and your symptoms, and it tries to give you a diagnosis back. So anyways, let's just have a look at how this works. Okay, so I'm not going to spend too much time looking at the back end here, but just some quick notes. Uh, it's just a, a basic. We have two function open save file. We have the API key. We have the GPT-3 engine. We use the DaVinci 002. And I just made a whole bunch of user inputs here. So what's your name? How old are you? What are your symptoms? We can have a look at this uh, after. And it just takes this information and saves it. And just uses that information in the, in the prompt. And it prints a diagnosis. Uh, I also, just for fun, added this part that just gives you like an infographic of your <laughs> diagnosis. Uh, just for fun. We can have a look at see how this works. Uh, there's nothing really else to say. It's quite a simple script anyway. But uh, yeah, let's just have a look at how this uh, works. Okay, so here we are in the terminal. Let me just run the script now. Hopefully you can see this quite okay. So we should get some uh, user input questions here. So we just have to answer those and then the script should take care of the rest. So the first question you get is like, what is your name? Uh, it's Chris. How old are you? Let's say 35. What are your symptoms? Uh, I have a headache. Um, pain over my eyes. When I bend down, little fever, I think. So let's go with that. How long have you had these symptoms? Uh, it's four days now. Are you on any meds? Uh, nope. Do you have any medical conditions? I have diabetes too. So here we get our information. Okay. The patient has symptoms of suggestive synthesis, a condition in which sinuses become inflammated. The patient should be treated with antibiotics. The patient's diabetes may make him more susceptible to sinus infections. Infections, sorry. Okay, so basically I had like a sinus infection, and that is true, like that's I recently had that, so that's what I was trying to to describe. So I guess it worked well with that. Let's see what kind of infographic this gave us. <laughs> yeah, that's quite quite accurate actually. Uh, this is where I had pa the pain right over my eyes here. Okay, yeah, that was fun. Let's try another one. Okay, so let's try to run it again. Let's just go. What is your name? Let's go Mary. How old are you? 73. What are your symptoms? I seem to forget more and more lately. Where, where I uh, place my keys. What's in my fridge? I just don't understand. And I and and I am confused. What? How long have you had the symptoms? Two months. Are you taking any meds? Uh, I take. Blood pressure meds. High blood pressure. Uh, pressure. Okay, let's see what comes up here. The patient is displaying symptoms of dementia, likely due to age related causes. The high blood pressure might com contribute to the cognitive decline. The patient should be. I refer to a specialist for further evaluation and treatment. Yes, that was very good. Let's uh, have a look at the image. Yeah, not bad. I hate dementia. 
But that was good. That was not bad. Yeah, impressive. Okay, so let's try another one. Okay, so I thought we could do something different here. Uh, I just went very rare medical conditions, symptoms. Uh, top five strange medical conditions. And I found this auto brewery syndrome. It's basically like you can get drunk without have having consumed any alcohol. So that's strange. So let's try to describe that in the script. Uh, what's your name? I just go Chris, 35. What are your symptoms? I seem to get drunk and intoxicated without consuming any alcohol. It is very strange and I don't understand. Yeah, let's do that. How long have you had these symptoms? Two weeks. No meds, no medical conditions. Now let's see. Can you get this? Ah, not bad. The patient may be suffering from a condition known as auto brewery syndrome, where the body produces alcohol internally. This could result of an overgrown yeast in the gut. The patient should be seen by a medical profession for further testing and treatment. Not bad. That was not bad. Okay, so let's see the image. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what is this? There's alcohol. And I don't understand the rest. Okay, so that was quite fun. Let's find another rare disease. Okay, so I found this other rare foreign accent syndrome. So this basically caused patients to begin speaking with a different accent. So it's not a fun diagnosis, but it's very serious. But let's try to see what we can come up with here. So let's just go. Let's do Chris, 35. What are your symptoms? I re let's go. recently have noticed that I speak <laughs> with another accent that I used to. It, it is very strange. And my family is concerned. Let's try that. How long have you had this? Uh, five weeks now. Uh, no medication. Do you have any medical condition? Uh, migraine. Migraines. I don't know. I don't know how you write the but let's write that. Migraines. Let's see. Yeah. The patient may be suffering from a condition called foreign accent syndrome. This is a rare condition which caused a variety of things, including stroke, brain injuries, and migraines. The patient should be seen by a doctor as soon as possible to rule out any other possible causes of their symptoms. Not bad. I'm quite impressed, actually. Or maybe, like, the, the description was very leading. I don't know. It might be. Uh, let's check out the image. Just a whole lot of confused people. Okay, so that was not bad. I kind of enjoyed this script. Uh, it's quite fun, actually, but... Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Okay, so I think that was it. Just a little showcase of this script. I find it kind of useful, actually. It was quite interesting to see. Could this be a generative AI future feature? Who knows? So, if you want to check out some of my other videos, you can find them up here. Should be something good there. Anyway, have a good day and I'll see you again soon.